Johnson flush. Corks one deep. Knocked away. Flag on the play. Nick Sanders has had a tremendous game for TCU. This time he gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Jeremy Brooks is the receiver. I thought that was a pretty good play myself. You know, I've been kind of hard on some of these guys tonight That's with the pass fans. interference. Defense, number 20, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Check out the end of it. I'm not sure that ball was going to be complete. Looked like uh, Brooks was going to catch it out of bounds if he catches it at all. Great job that time by Johnson stepping up inside of the rush by Jerry Hughes. Johnson, pressure, got away. Incomplete. Got away from Cody Moore. Cody Moore cannot believe that he didn't bring Johnson down for another sack tonight. But that's the senior leadership. I mean, he's been in this position before. A lot of time, they still have two timeouts. Here's the pressure by Moore. And the decision by Johnson to save yardage. Brian Johnson was basically unrecruited out of Robert E. Lee High School in Baytown, Texas. Didn't play until his senior year. Now he's the winningest quarterback in Utah history. Can this be his signature win? He's got 22 victories under his belt, but boy, if number 23 comes here tonight, he'd cement his legacy, wouldn't he? No question about that. I like that play, too. Picking up positive yards, get that good feeling going for the offense in that offensive line. Third and five, deep to the end zone, incomplete. Oh, would you want to have that one back, Brian Johnson? A little bit too excited on the play. Saw Castile break open on the corner route and just fires it too far. Fourth down now. This is where Godfrey's been so impressive over the middle, working the short route as he just did on second down to pick up five yards. Utah has two timeouts if they want to talk about it further. Here's Godfrey in the slot. Over the middle. First down. Freddie Brown. T.J. Johnson brings him down. And Brown was in the slot on the other side of the field. A lot of attention to the near side with three wide receivers. As you see the agony of the young place kicker, Ross Evans. Now from the 15-yard line, first and 10, Utah. Into coverage, complete, timeout available. Again, it's Godfrey. I don't think you worry about using the clock yet. You've got a minute to go in the ball game. You don't, certainly don't want to give TCU any time on the clock if they get the ball back after you score. Johnson trying to engineer a go-ahead drive here in the fourth. On the slam. Touchdown, Utah. Freddie Brown. This is a well-built stadium. This press box is shaking right now. Oh, good. I thought it was my knees. Get a little excited when you see a great 80-yard drive engineered by Brian Johnson. Seven and nine on the drive and the capper finding Freddie Brown downtown. It's a three-point game with 47 seconds left on the clock. All seconds to go. Down the sideline. This one is picked up. Utah will go to 10 0. Robert Johnson with his first interception of the season. Well, this is just a poor decision.
decision by a guy who's been making a lot of good decisions, trying to get the ball deep when he really didn't have to. Just wanting to get his field goal kicker in range to tie this one up. And Robert Johnson with his first interception of the year. The pursuit of perfection continues for the Utes. And Brian Johnson just gave somebody a souvenir. It took Utah all night long to get a touchdown, didn't it, Tom? And they finally did on their last drive going 80 yards. Led by their great senior quarterback, Brian Johnson. Man, what a job. And you know what? They still have two timeouts. <laughs> and they still have two games remaining to finish undefeated. Time now to take a look at our direct TV player of the game. Who else? You told him the fourth quarter would be his. And you know, he didn't bat an eye. You know, it's, it's like you're talking to a guy that's been there and done that, and he certainly has. There's a reason he's the winningest starting quarterback in Utah history, and Utah's had some great ones. 23 now out of 30 tries for Brian Johnson, and what a huge one. And when the game was on the line, the senior leader with seven of nine on the game-winning drive for the Utes. And what he did, it was, it was so smart. He got the big play to Castile to get them out of uh, being their own end of the field, out to midfield. And then he started to work the middle. He worked Freddie Brown on a quick out and then came back the other side, found uh, Godfrey, and then the clincher, the slant route. Freddie Brown using his big body to get inside the corner. And this is our rank.